so what I've done here is I've went ahead and created some droplets here. What I'm going to do is show you how to install the Flask, Oper, Flask op application on your droplet here. So starting off here, what we do is we create a droplet. And I'm going to pick, pick a base OS of just Ubuntu 4.04, 64-bit. And I'm going to just pick the smallest droplet size that I can. And I'm going to, if you have an SSH key um, set up here, I would go ahead and add one. Just makes it easier to log in. Go ahead and hit create. So here's my droplet Flask application. So I'm going to go ahead and go log in. Copy this. So SSH root app. All right, cool. We're in. So what I'm going to do here is I need to go ahead and install starting off here. So here's my Here's the tutorial I'm following. My whole goal here is to show you uh, exactly how to do this. Some people may get a little flustered. I know there's over 90 comments about people getting confused. Uh, some of them getting confused anyway. So I'm going to start off by installing uh, Apache or LAMP on Ubuntu. First step here. So I'm going to go ahead and update. This is fast enough that I think I don't really need to edit this all out. All right, so that's updated. So I'm going to go ahead and install this command, Apache 2. I'm just on a Mac, Control C, and then Control or Command C, Command V. Okay, there we go. All right, so we just need to follow step one for that part. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let me do this. That way I don't have to toggle back and forth as much. It's a little bit different. There's a little bit difference between Ubuntu 12 and Ubuntu 14. Okay, there we go. So enable your website gate interface. Python needs this. Out of the box, LAMPS typically work typically works with PHP. PHP powers most of the web. Um, Python works really well with the web, and there's some good supporting frameworks like Django for Python. But uh, out of the box, typically it's designed for PHP. So we've got to do a little bit of modding in order to get to where we are. All right. So with Ubuntu 4.04, it's a little bit different here. You might be able to still do it this way, but what I prefer to do, all right, so into our web directory. I'm going to go ahead and remove index.html. So if you can see those commands there, I went to my web root directory and I removed my index.html that was installed along with Apache. So I'm going to create a new directory called Flask App. All right, so I made that. I'm going to change into that directory. And we're going to make another Flash App directory. So our first, how this is high, the hierarchy here, we're going to have our website, website our, our web gate interface um, within the first one and then the all the application files are going to be in the nested one in the second one okay so we're going to go even farther into that so cd flask there we go all right so create two new directories all right so according to here we should have a outline like this okay so i think it looks to be that way Yeah. Okay. All right. So actually, I want to go back down. All 
Okay, so sudo nano and I'm gonna create this. So I'm editing this file, this Python file, and I'm adding that in there. Okay, so that's closed. Let's install more dependencies. Okay. Python virtual environment. All right. Activate. Right now I'm just copy pasting this and it should work fine. Okay. So go ahead and install Flask. And run our initpy. All right, so it says here that it should be running on HTTP localhost 5000. Um, if you see this, you have managed to configure or you have successfully configured the app. So in this case, yes, it is running successfully. All right, so go ahead and deactivate. Actually, I just need to control C. Deactivate. There we go. Okay. So we're on Ubuntu 4.04. .04, so we gotta be careful here. Um, we're gonna pick this according to 4.04 .04. if you're below if you're on 12 you're going to use this first option but here you're going to use the second one with a dot configure dot c o n f all right and then we're going to paste all this in Edit. okay So enable the following command. So I'm going to go ahead and restart Apache again. So careful here. Um, this is one part. Oh, actually, you know what? I made a mistake. I got to go back here. I'm sorry. You gotta be really careful here. So where it has um, server name for your website, you need to make all of this. So this needs to be, so in this case for me, it would be this IP address because that's what I'm making it on. So I paste that in. And because I have the newer, um, well, with what I did, you may not have to do this, but I have, I'm using Ubuntu 4.0, which is different from a previous version of Ubuntu 12. Um, I've got to add in HTML because that's the directory I'm in. Okay. All right. There we go. All right, so now I change back into here. So we're gonna create our website or website gate interface. So here we go. And this needs to be changed to HTML. Okay. All right, I'm gonna restart Apache. 
And if we have any luck, hey, it works. There you go. See that? That's how you get Flask up and running. Uh, any questions, let me know. I know this is a crude video, but this should help you out. Thanks for watching.